Hello, Dr. Childers here. So that's the essence of our battle for mental health. As I wrote in my blog post on field banners, when you march and fight under the field banner of an attachment-based model of parental alienation, you, you're empowered. You are exceedingly dangerous to ignorance, and you are unstoppable. Foundations in an attachment-based model activate for you standards 2.01 and 3.04 of the Ethics Code of the American Psychological Association. Professional competence is not a suggested professional practice. It's a required professional obligation. By defining the construct of parental alienation from entirely within standard and established psychological principles, you now have a weapon of empowerment that you can use to fight back against the pathogen and reclaim your children. When you march and fight under the field banner of attachment-based parental alienation and foundations, you are an unstoppable force. If, however, you bring Gardnerian PAS onto the battlefield, the pathogen will destroy you. Gardnerian PAS has already been infected and disabled by the defensive memes of the pathogen. Junk science, controversial, parental alienation doesn't exist. If you bring Gardnerian PAS onto this battlefield, you risk infecting the entire movement with the defensive meme structures of the pathogen. Gardnerian PAS does not and cannot activate standards 2.01 and 3.04 for you. Gardnerian PAS will return you to your helpless disempowerment. If you bring Gardnerian PAS onto the battlefield, the pathogen will eat you alive. Hell, I'll attack you myself because you risk infecting the entire movement with the defensive meme structures of the pathogen. There will be no Gardnerian battle banner on this battlefield. If you fight under a Gardnerian banner, there will be no place for you in this fight. Let me explain. All of the criticisms of parental alienation are based on the Gardnerian model. There is currently no criticism of an attachment-based model, and God help them if they try. Foundations and an attachment-based model are rock solid. That's what took me seven years. I've been preparing seven years for just this battle. Foundations unlocks for you standards 2.01 and 3.04. You are now dangerous to ignorance, and ignorance is the ally of the pathogen that disempowers you. In Foundations, you now hold in your hands the power to rescue and recover your children. First, cleanse the pathogen from mental health. Then we'll turn the power of our new ally of mental health to resolving the issues with the legal system. We already have the solutions for the legal system when we reach that point. This is the key battle, the battle for mental health. Muster all your power and resolve, for now is the time. Amplify your power as much as you possibly can. Come together, your friends, your family, unite in an unstoppable wave. In foundations, you are empowered. You have your goal, the position statement of the APA. You have your weapon, the searing white hot iron of standards 2.01 and 3.04 of the APA Ethics Code. There is nothing standing in your way of your ability to rescue and recover your children except your effort and your resolve. All of the criticisms for the construct of parental alienation are based on the Gardnerian PAS model, but we're not marching or fighting under the Gardnerian banner. We're marching and fighting under the banner of an attachment-based model of parental alienation, under the banner of foundations. By separating ourselves from the Gardnerian PAS, we immediately eliminate all criticisms of parental alienation. All of them. Because they're all made irrelevant. All of the criticisms of parental alienation are based in a Gardnerian PAS model. But we're not talking about a Gardnerian model. We're talking about an attachment-based reformulation for the construct of parental alienation. So all of the criticisms that are based on a Gardnerian PAS model are completely irrelevant. Under an attachment-based banner, all of the criticisms of parental alienation are gone. Poof. Vanished. They're all made completely irrelevant by an attachment-based model. The battlefield in front of you has been entirely cleared for you. There are no criticisms of the construct of parental alienation with which you must contend. None. Zero. Nothing. If someone tries to raise one of the old criticisms, just say, oh, you must be talking about that old Gardnerian PAS model. Well, that's irrelevant, because we're not talking about that. We're talking about the new attachment-based model.
Have you read Foundations? Oh, you haven't? Well, you really need to. And after you finish reading Foundations, then come back to me. But until you've read Foundations, you really don't have anything relevant to say. Because all of your criticisms are based in the Gardnerian model of PAS. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about the new attachment-based model of Dr. Childress. When we pierce the pathogen's veil of concealment, we'll activate the pathogen's attack defense that's designed to tie us up in defending, putting the focus onto us and taking the focus off of the pathogen so it can slip back into hiding. But we're ready for it. As you cross the battlefield to engage the battle for mental health, the allies of the pathogen, the binding sites of ignorance, will attack you with their tried and true criticisms by which they've disabled the previous assaults. But this time, Simply brush them aside and keep going. Do not become distracted in the argument and debate. Keep the focus on the pathogen. All of the criticisms are irrelevant because they're all based on Gardnerian PAS, not on an attachment-based model, not on foundations. At first, the pathogen will be disoriented as you brush aside its initial attacks to distract you. Then it will regroup and come with new criticisms based on foundations and an attachment-based model. You send those to me. I'm ready for them. Let me fight that battle of distraction. You stay focused on exposing the pathogen. Trust me, the foundations of an attachment-based model of parental alienation are rock solid. Your goal is to penetrate the veil of concealment and expose the pathogen. Do not become distracted. Once the pathogen's exposed, it loses all its power. Be relentless. Keep the focus on the pathogen. Shine the light of awareness and attention onto the pathogen and don't let up. Don't let it slip back into hiding. This is the time. This is the battle. And this is the weapon. You are dangerous to ignorance. You are unstoppable force. Go get your children back. Follow me to the next video.